Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System to talk to you about the upcoming World Cup, which kicks off in just a few days' time on Sunday, November the 20th. The first game going to be the host nation, Qatar, hosting or taking on Ecuador in that first match. And I'm excited, I'm sure, if you're watching this video, you're excited too, about the upcoming World Cup as it kicks off on Sunday and ushers in about a four-week uh, tournament that uh, the whole world will be watching this November and December. And it's the first World Cup to take place in the winter months, as we've always seen the World Cup since 1930 played during the summer months. So a big, uh, big change to the tournament this year and uh, one that uh, a lot of people are excited about because they're going to get to see, uh, you know, top level international soccer during a time of the year that they're not used to. Now, you can always go over to the Z Code System blog right there and get all of these great picks uh, and blogs that we post throughout the week. And uh, we've got a lot of stuff over there. And I'm just scrolling down to draw your attention to the World Cup preview, which I posted just a few, uh, maybe about two weeks ago, I posted that preview. It's still available there. And you can go over and you can get uh, updated on the odds for the teams at the World Cup. And you can read about uh, my picks and uh, some of the other things that we have there on the blog. Today, we're specifically talking about the World Cup top scores market. Now, we're going to be taking a look at my favorite sports book, Bet365. Of course, there are other sports books out there that you can use, but Bet365 is just the one that I typically show off here on the uh, videos because it's the website, uh, the betting site that I use on a regular basis. So we're going to be taking a look specifically at the World Cup's top score markets. All right, so here I am at Bet365, and we've got the World Cup 2022 uh, section right here. And as you can see here, Bet365 has a huge, huge uh, promotion going on with, with uh, the World Cup, as well as a lot of other things that they're going to be showing off. And one of the things that is great about the World Cup is the outright markets. Now, here are the odds on teams to win the World Cup. As you can see, Brazil are plus 400 to win the World Cup. Argentina plus 550. France, the reigning champions, plus 600. And so on and so forth. Now, I have said before, I believe in our last video uh, on the World Cup, that my pick for this year's tournament is, and it's a bit of a surprise, I'm kind of shocked that I'm going with this, Argentina to win the World Cup. I think Lionel Messi may come good in his final World Cup appearance and lead the Argentines to the title. Now, that's just my pick. I'm sure you have your ideas out there about who you think are going to win, but I really like Argentina's chances. But regardless of, uh, regardless of that, uh, that's the outright winner's market. We're going to take a look at the top scorer's market. Now, as you can see, Bet365 and a lot of other online sportsbooks have a large number a vast selection of outright markets that you can wager on for this world cup so regardless of what you want to wager on whether you want to wager on just the single matches or if you want to do a um uh, an outright bet or or a futures bet then you've got some great examples uh whether it be top goal scorers you can bet on teams to qualify for the the knockout stages um the team to finish bottom of the group, the teams to reach the final. I'm thinking France is going to be there, maybe Argentina, maybe Brazil. Those three teams, I like those three teams to reach the semifinal, at least two of those three teams, that is. Um, but you got all of these other great uh, markets here. So the winning continent, that's a fun one. Uh, First-time winner, will there be a first-time winning team? I don't know about that. Uh, who will win the golden ball, the best player at the tournament? Who will win the golden gloves, the best goalkeeper? So... Lots of great markets and something that you can you know go through and explore. But again, like I said, we're taking a look specifically today at the top score market or the golden boot winner, which uh, whichever you prefer to call it. The World Cup nowadays call it the top goal score market. And as you can see here, we've got a host of players and Bet365 is paying out each way uh, one fourth the odds up to fourth place. So that's actually a really good deal if you uh, are betting on this market. Now, Harry Kane goes into the tournament as the favorite to win the top goal scorer award at plus 700. Now, Harry Kane won the award 
in 2018 in the Russian World Cup, uh, scoring six goals. Kylian Mbappe of France, he's at plus 900 to win the top scorer world. Now, Mbappe is having a fantastic season for Paris Saint-Germain. And if you go back to the 2018 World Cup, he was the, or he was voted the top young player at the tournament. He's having, like I said, a fantastic season and uh, will have plenty of opportunities to score goals. Neymar, he's uh, going into this tournament uh, also in very good form and another favorite to win the the Golden Boot. Now, I'm going to give you my pick to win the Golden Boot. And as you can see here, we've got a whole host. And if you want to go for a, a dark horse, you know, you've got the option to pick some of these dark horses way down the line here. Uh, for example, uh, just picking someone, uh, so Hyungman's son of South Korea at plus 10,000 uh, to win the Golden Boot Award. So you've got a great uh, selection of players, but there's just things you gotta, you got to keep in mind for the World Cup. Now, to win the tournament, you're going to have to play seven games. And the the player to win the, the Golden Boot Award may need to play as many games as possible to have the chance to win that trophy. Now, Harry Kane played seven games, or England played seven games, at the 2018 World Cup. They made it all the way to the semifinals, lost the semifinals to Croatia, and then got to play in the third place playoff where they lost to Belgium. So he had the opportunity to play up to seven games, and that you know helps the more games you play, helps the players obviously score more goals. So you might want to take that into consideration, look at the different groups that uh, each of these top players are playing in, the look at the competition that they're playing against, and then make your decision on whether you think they can win the Golden Boot Award, the top scorer award. Now, I'm going to say one player that I would avoid for this betting market, and that's Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo not having the best of seasons at Manchester United. He wants to leave the club. He's not getting to play a lot. Uh, he's looking his age. He turns 38 in February. And yesterday he just came out with... Uh, uh, an interview in which he basically criticized Manchester United and uh, there's going to be a lot of repercussions uh, when he gets back to the club. Now, I don't think he's going to set the world on fire in Qatar at this World Cup. I think he's going to struggle a bit. Again, 38 years old, he's seen his best days already. So that's a bet that I would avoid. Now, I would also say that I would avoid betting on Neymar to win the Golden Boot Award. Yes, he does have a lot of goals for Brazil, yes, he will take penalties for Brazil throughout the tournament if they get them. But for me, Neymar is more of a player who's going to set up the goals for Brazil rather than score them. Now, looking at Kareem Benzema, a little bit of info on him. He's been injured a lot this season. He's only appeared 12 times for Real Madrid in all competitions. Yes, he has six goals, but he is struggling with injuries and he missed their last four games heading into this tournament. Now, Lionel Messi, I do like him to do well at this tournament. I think he could score quite a number of goals. He's got six all-time at the World Cup, uh, one during the uh, 2010 tournament, four in 2014, and one in 2018 uh, during those World Cups. Uh, But he's playing fantastically right now for Paris, and I think he could do very well in front of goal. But again, he's one of those players who is better at setting up goals at the international level maybe than scoring them. Now, this leads me to my dark horse pick to win the top score award, and that is Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay plays for the Netherlands. He's going into the tournament having played very little club football during the season. He's only appeared twice for Barcelona due to some injuries and due to some issues where the club really just don't want him. But he is so key to that Netherlands team, and I think that he could come good in Qatar as a dark horse pick to win the Golden Boot, and he's plus 2,500 to win it. Now, the player who I am picking is actually a player that is a bit off the beaten path here, but he is in the top nine in odds there, and that's Argentina's Lutaro Martinez, who will be playing with Lionel Messi and will be uh, having plenty of goals, potentially, set up by Messi at the World Cup. Now, Martinez has a very, very strong goal-scoring record with the Argentina national team. And I think he could really do well at this year's World Cup. He's having a good season for Inter Milan in Serie A. And he's definitely a player who has the potential to play 
a lot of games at the tournament because, like I said before, I'm picking Argentina to win this tournament, which means they would play up to seven games in Qatar, giving Martinez the chance to score plenty of goals. And their group is not the most difficult. Uh, Saudi Arabia is in their group, and uh, you know that's that's a team who I believe is the lowest ranked team going into the World Cup. And you know Argentina could have plenty of chances to to put goals past them. And I don't think Argentina's group is that strong. And that could lead to plenty of goals in the group stage for Martinez. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this video here on Z-Code System about the top goal scorer markets at the World Cup. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to be the top goal scorer at this year's World Cup. I'm excited about it. I'm sure you are, too. And also, please give us a thumbs up for this video and like uh, subscribe, I guess I should say, subscribe to the channel. I say up to date on everything we do here at Z Code System. We'll be putting stuff up on the channel all World Cup long, uh, some picks on the games. We'll give you some updated information on these markets as well. And, uh, you know, subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date on all of those things. And if you could, share on social media to help us spread the word on Z Code System. All right, guys, we'll see you back here soon on Z Code System. Good luck with your World Cup betting, and we'll see you back here.